Well, I guess we're going to ex excavation then. I guess that's the only way, unless we need to go to, uh... Unless we want to go to the auxiliary shaft. That's really the only place we've been to tool shed. We tried to go to storage, we couldn't go in there, so excavation... See, because if you look at excavation, on the upper left hand, or the left hand side here, if we go up in there, that might be able to get, get us into storage. All right, let's give it a shot. I got by him or not. I think I did. Whew. He turned around right when I was walking by. Okay. Whew. Okay, this is excavation. All right, let's go. Whew. That music makes it all the more intense. Okay, so where he left off, there was nothing else in here. Okay. This must be the tunnel leading to the storeroom. It's pretty high, though. Okay. I guess we went the wrong way first, and we should have gone to the tool shed first. Who knows? It's not... Okay, we've already looked at that. We can't do anything here. We've got our ladder set up. Let's go ahead and save. All right. We got this there, and boom. Okay, let's check this out. Let's see where it leads us. And now I've got no choice but to move on. Whatever made this tunnel its home clearly made it unstable as well. My god, nothing lays eggs that big. They're leathery. So can't be mammalian, more likely amphibious or insectoid. I really don't like the way they're moving. Reminds me of alien. All right, we're out of here. Ugh, I hope they, these came from the animal, animal, but I have my suspicions. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna block that off. I hear those eggs hatching. Broken paraffin lamp, highly flammable. I'm taking that as a hint. I think that's too small. I'm gonna move that there and go down this way. All right, what do we have here? Now you should find yourself in the watery cave of conversation space, with a tunnel above you from times ahead. In this tunnel, for both our sakes, be careful, not curious. Hmm. I have already spoken to you about the cat. And repeating myself is not only out of the question, but out of the window and climbing down the guttering. There are spiders in the tunnels that love to suck on the human fluids, so do not disturb the walls. They are fragile like the china vase in the hooves of the bull. I was assuming I needed that rock for some reason. I just lucky, I guess. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm not looking behind me. I hear something. I hear something. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Woo! Out of here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, spiders are coming after me. Come on, oh!
Yikes. I, I can't possibly go back up there with those things. There should be some insect repellent in that red and white cross box in that room. Just in case those spiders found your flesh delicious. How does my brain flesh know your fluids are leaking? Because the red tricked you! <laughs> the spidery tunnel was far from the necessary evil. More so, it served as a well-deserved punishment. You thought my mind had been lost to the ravages of time, but poetic justice has struck with a sonnet and an eight-legged baptism of fire. With justice now served cold, I hope that we can be good friends. Now reclaim the key and go go juice. And find a way to the mining monster. Hmm. Note to do list. Beyond the fence, okay, we've already read that. Red spoke of a key and some go go juice. Go go juice? Alright, so we came from there, we picked up painkillers. Fit as can be expected, I must have regained my composure during that dialogue. Either it's locked or something's blocking the door. Damn it! Alright, so what's in here? Ventilation system. Anything back here? Nothing. Bright light. Ooh, flares. Something I don't use much. Probably should start using them. This whole installation is just falling apart. I wonder if these can open up. Aha! Learned that in Half-Life, but used a crowbar. Alright. Doesn't really take us anywhere. Now where? Can we go down this way? Again, this whole installation is just falling apart. Ooh, what do we got here? Can I get up? Ooh, I can. Hmm. Doesn't really get me anywhere, though. Because I saw a vent here off to the right. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now what's over here? Okay. Can I get up there? Can I stand up? No, I can't. Aha! What do we got? Okay. What's here? Okay, that's where we drop down, all right. We went this way, we went through that vent. Oh, got some more stuff here. Flare, some batteries, beef jerky. Anything else? Lots of equipment, but useless. May as well be empty. Lots of equipment, but useless. What's in here? An old storage locker, once home to posters of Playmates, now just home to dust and decay. Ooh, there is something in here. What is that? Looks like a hammer. According to Red, I just need to find a can of gasoline as well. It should be somewhere around here. What did I just pick up? It's a vehicle key. A large key. Hmm. Uh, interesting. I've picked up two sticks of dynamite. Try not to be in the habit of handling old explosives, but I guess... But I guess needs must. Okay. We have a lot of beef jerky. We're gonna have to use those on dogs more, I guess. Alright, is there anything else in here? Nope. Alright. Moving on. Okay, so that's where we came through. Okay, we came through here. 
may as well be empty. Ooh, more batteries. My bat it doesn't seem like the batteries go in your inventory. They feel they seem to go right into the flashlight. The control room must have seen a lot of use back when the mine was operational, but it looks pretty desolate now. Okay, so... Why did I go through the vent when I could have gone through this door? What a maroon. I just don't get it. How long could this have been running for? Yeah, no kidding. Not indefinitely. I think that's going to... If I remember correctly, we kind of heard ourselves in steam back in the caves when we first started this adventure. Um, let's see. Can I get up here? I think I'm... I think we're being... prompted here. No reason why this mechanical arm shouldn't still be working. Okay. After the generator, getting this crane going shouldn't be too tricky. What's in here? Anything? Nope. What do we have here? Inuit Mythology, Christian Foresight, first published 1903. Over the past hundred years, our people has seen something of a religious revelation. The Calvet and Inuit in general might be said to have seen the era of our ways, and Christianity has become increasingly embraced throughout the Arctic communities. It is the purpose of this paper to explore the true roots of our long-held beliefs and to uncover how they might be justified today in our new found enlightenment. As such, this essay will be the first I have written in English as opposed to our native Kalelik. Anamit. It is no coincidence that the world Ammonac bears resemblance to the English word angel. The Ammonite are the Inuit equivalent of the soul, an undying entity released in the death of its worldly body. The concept itself is obviously well grounded in descent Christian belief. Decent Christian belief, excuse me. However, previous thought has been blasphemous to the extent that souls are attributed to all beings, man or beast. To claim such a thing would be to imply that the killing of a beast for food is the same as the murder of your fellow man, and such a belief simply cannot be held the civilized Inuit. Turngate. Legends speak of disembodied spirits malicious in nature, sabotaging tools, turning hunts bad, and at times even possessing the weak or unfortunate. A Turnak appears to have no recognized or agreed origin, both in term of legend itself and the ind individual being, causing great doubt to be entirely justifiable. Can we, in our Christian foresight, really believe in possessions and devil spirits? It seems perfectly clear to this writer that the real origin of the Turngate belief lies in the Christian demon. For as we are taught by the generous and selfless Moravian Church, Moravian Church, without those support, our people would be doubt, no doubt have starved many years ago. The demon is capable of possession and of countless other atrocities which only the good Christian man can avoid through a lifetime of humility and devotion. And Gank and Gakwit. With the conclusions reached above, the status of the cherished Anguk, the tribe shaman, should be obvious. Such people are in league with the Turngate demons working side by side to control and contain their Calvet people. When we have no need for such superstition and suspicion breeding people in our Christian ways. 
the Protestant priest can perform all the anguish duties and more beside. God, the final challenge of a work such as this should be be to find the nature of the Christian God and to ask why he has not been present for so many years of Inuit belief. Until recently, the Inuit people wrongly attributed the animate almost godlike status in certain cases and treated the Turngate as the devil incarnate. It is no major leap of faith to suggest that such beliefs have been underpinned by a central concern that there has been something missing in Inuit life. That something is undutably God. Undutab undubitably God. Okay. I hope that my findings have informed and enlightened the atheistic view few that remain in Inuit culture and ask that Lord Jesus Christ to redeem their souls. And ask the Lord Jesus Christ to redeem their souls. Peter Henry Natur. Hmm. Interesting. The paint's peeling on the old locker. It's bound to be rusted shut. Well, it's not because I already opened it. All right. What do these do? Okay, that's up and down. What's this one? Ooh. Okay, telescoping out. And I'm assuming this swings it. Ooh, alright, that it does. I'm gonna go down right now. Nice! What? That's not supposed to happen. push this one up then see if that would be enough to get us up there oh I meant to correct myself um, I said in a previous video I don't recall I think it was the amnesia video let's play video um, I said something about this havoc this game having havoc physics H V O K I believe that is incorrect. It's actually the Newton game dynamics uh, is the physics that are used in this game. So I, I apologize for that and the misinformation there. So again, it is Newton game dynamics, not Havoc physics. Okay, let's see. Does that get us up here? Excellent. I bet you this is what gets us around the steam. E well, hold on. What's in here? Okay, I bet you that's... Okay, there's some redundant uh, tunneling systems so you can't get stuck. Okay, that makes sense. All right. And there was a save there. We got creepy music coming into play here. What is that about? Voila! Okay, why do we have creepy music? What's gonna happen? Got spiders coming or something? Take that. Looks like the gasoline can there. All right, let's drop down. Voila! Is that the go-go juice, as Red put it? Vehicle key. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to be driving a vehicle. A rust, a saw, rusty enough that I wish I had this tetanus shot, but still sharp enough to saw through wood. We still haven't used this broom either. Guess that's to keep the game clean. I know, bad joke, sorry. Let's 
see what we can do here, because we can't get back there. Ah, not quite. Very cool. Look at that. That's so cool. The physics are so true in a lot of ways, because you pull it from the bottom and it pulls it out. That was cool. Alright, moving on. Okay, so, what else do we have? Ooh, I saw a save point there, one of those artifacts. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I suppose I can trust these things a bit more. I'm not dead yet, still. They must have a purpose. What could it be? Okay, so we pretty much exhausted this area. Can't do anything here. That's done. I hear air out here. Sounds like... Yeah. Okay, moving on. Can't go that way. We've pretty much got everything we needed there. This way. Oh, maybe this is what the saw's for. Uh, Christ, what am I thinking? I don't know, what am I thinking? A saw to cut wood? Lots of equipment, but useless. Yeah, we've already established that. We've already been here. Okay. Let's, uh, I guess we're gonna break this wood and go back out. Haha. -ha. Alright, so we are definitely out of here, correct? Alright, let's go.